Hi everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about what I am doing for NaNoWriMo 2020 and kind of give a recap of my projects thus far because I think I only talk about some on here but I have like a ton in the work that I'd love to work on soon. Hopefully 2021 maybe I'll get to work on some other things but for my nano project, it's going to be another young adult contemporary. Um, I want to have that one as my third one along with hashtag goals and um, project Emma. I keep almost saying the other name, <laughs> but um, I'm hoping that like those three, after those three, maybe I can get to work on middle grade or adult with my agent. Um, otherwise, I'll have to come up with some more young adult ideas, but I have a lot of contemporary, some fantasy, and a couple, or maybe just one at least, supernatural that's a middle grade that I'm super excited about. But for Nano, mine is gonna be like the summer before her senior year of high school. Um, she's working at this like pier, which kind of like near where I live, um, it's, it's got the rides, the games, the food, like everything on there. And then there are some like fishing docks around there too. And actually in um, Project Emma, I put one of their like assignment date things on uh, the fishing pier, but they also go to the actual um, pier, which I'm calling Pleasant Pier right now. Um, and it's kind of close to what it's actually called here, but um, I, I kind of really want these Easter eggs in each of my books. so. Um, maybe the characters' names get mentioned or a place that they've been to is in another book. I want this world to be kind of like the same or like, you know, it could be a town over or whatever, but it's like everyone can go to these same places. I, I think this would be really, really fun for these three books, so I'm excited. But anyways, so um, she works there during the day and then at night they usually have like a co-worker um, bonfire parties. So they have a bonfire, they have sand volleyball, which I took from my Romancing Fate, which is now Project Emma. And um, I'm trying to take a few different things and I'm also exploring my life. So uh, things that my dad <laughs> told me about guys and like different explorations of all of that and how my brother was at the time. Um, so they're probably not gonna like me for that if they uh, end up reading this. I doubt they will, but. <laughs> also that's why, new name, yay. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna really explore that and then um, kind of do a fake uh, relationship in what kind of was Romancing Fate had that, but now it doesn't as Project Emma. And so I'm really exploring that now with, I'm calling it jokingly because this is for like for YA fantasy, a summer of flings and flames. <laughs> so it's A-S-O-F-A-F. Yes, it'll get a new name. This is my joking title right now, but um, they, the girl, um, after having her heart broken and just like doesn't want to get into anything serious again and the dude is like it doesn't have any experiences under his belt he's been um, very like blessed his whole life and so he doesn't want to take risks he doesn't want to ruin this perfect life that he has going he doesn't want heartache and all that stuff so um, I really tried to think of two opposing forces for them for why they're not going to get together which helped with um, romancing the beat if y'all ever need uh, like some romance subplot in your life I love romancing the beat for like keeping your characters apart um, helps with the slow burn helps with the tension helps with enemies to lovers helps with all of that so um, using that uh, they're gonna get into a fake relationship so um, that'll be a lot of fun to explore and um, just like all their friends and all of their like hobbies and personalities and everything I'm giving them I for the first time uh, think that none of that will change in the second draft. I think I've really plotted it out this time and um, I think everyone has their own thing and so I'm really excited to start in on that on Nano. I really hope I can do like a fast draft of it which typically like I finish a draft during Nano but I always try for like descriptions and things and it'd be cool if my brain could just turn that off and I could just be like mm -hmm right to the end because <laughs> I know like I'm gonna probably do a rewrite anyway for draft two so um I really just oh I don't know I'm just so excited about this book so that'll be my third YA but I wanted to break down my projects this far so for young adult um those are oh yeah so hashtag goals project Emma and then I had last nano um was a YA fantasy that um the draft one was complete I need to go back but since I was on a YA contemporary kick, I was like, okay, back burner. So um, that one's there for me to explore one day. Um, and then uh, three ideas. One of them's the nano one. Oh my gosh, I have written down that I have two more ideas, but I 
don't just kidding i just had to relook at my <laughs> my like uh book idea list i do have two one of them's another fantasy uh yeah kind of retelling which hit big everyone started doing this one so i don't know if i'm gonna follow through with it and then my other one is more like historical like fantasy historical i don't know it's like bare bones ideas so um for my middle grade, I have two first drafts written of two different ones that I need to go back and revise. And actually, one of them still my young adult. Like, so Crafted started as middle grade, went to young adult, and now I need to take it back to middle grade. And I still have it. And it has a magic school, which I'm pretty sure is in right now. So I just, like, need to hop on that in 2021. I really want to focus on middle grade that year. So, um... I need to revise that one. I have another one that got finished and I need to see if it's decent and I can redo it. I love the concept and the comps I'm using for it. And then I have one started for my Supernatural that like I thought it was going to go one way and I started writing because when I get ideas I just want to write like the first page or like scene or whatever just to see what's there and you know get the, get the idea down if it's stuck in my head and this like twist came and I was like oh. <laughs> so I'm super excited about it I'm pretty sure I started with the wrong pro tag though so um, I'm either gonna need to switch up the the main character or but like it ruins like the surprise so I might have to start in her head and then let it change to someone else or maybe if it's okay in middle grade to do multiple POVs, I might try that, but yeah, I definitely know it's the wrong MC, but her, how the first chapter goes so far, I need it to be her head and not know the other stuff, so yeah. And then I have two fledgling ideas that kind of incorporate fantasy. Um, one of them I think will be a lot, a lot of fun, and the other one I'm going to have to work really hard on an outline. <laughs> And then for my adult sphere, which won't be, um, I'm going to try not to talk about it on this channel because I'll probably have a different pin name for my adult ones, but I have three books, um, two, three books have been started and, um, I really love their ideas. I'm hoping I can work on those soon too, although they need a lot of outlining as well. I kind of have like their first act down and like maybe how it ends, but I need to go through and really brainstorm and figure it out. And then um, I started coming up with short story ideas. One of my YA, <laughs> my very first garbage draft was a YA that um, I started having two ideas for. And it wasn't, oh, the word count was terrible. But um, I was like, you know what, this would be cool as short stories. Like this first little bit and then this next little bit. And so um, I might explore that one day. It is a hot mess, so it might be a little bit. But I have this other one that's going to be four girls, um, and I'm not going to give away, like, who they are. Uh, I might have already, but everything's privated now, so haha. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's each their tale, and so it's in the same world, and so they'll pick up, like, it's her story, and then you'll see some overlap, and then her story, some overlap, her story, some her, and it's from their different perspectives with some of that overlap, and I think... Like, the concept is really cool, and I'm excited about it. And um, hopefully whenever I can put that out, I can just, like, put it into an anthology or something. Um, I'm not really sure about the whole self-publishing thing right now. I could do that for my short stories, or I could just make them available online. So we'll see. And then um, I had this other idea. If I can make it, it's a science, no, fiction, fan it's mostly fantasy. If I can turn it into an adult novel, I will. I got started on it. And it's one of those where it has like two different, completely different subplots that I was trying to make work. And I think it would be better in like a short story, like two books, maybe one subplot per. But um, otherwise, I might see if it could work out as a novel still. But yeah, my focus is young adult right now, especially through the end of this year. And then hopefully middle grade the beginning of next year. And then hopefully I can get to my adult contemporary projects. But yeah, so like a lot of this is like gonna be on the back burner for a bit but so ones that I at least have the first draft of I have five books I mostly talk about two of those <laughs> and then the ones that I've started like at least the first scene some of them I have like several chapters of um are five I have five of those and then idea wise I have four and then kind of like eight short story ideas so um, that's 22 ideas total if you count my short stories, otherwise it's 14 ideas and, um, well not ideas, but novel projects, project ideas maybe. Um, so that's where I'm 
sitting. Uh, um, thankfully, I can draft very quickly. It's all the rest after that that takes 10 years. But for my update on hashtag goals, it's with my mentor right now. And um, as of filming this video anyway. And so she says it's strong. She says it's good. I'm like, yes, I finally made like a decent draft of this. <laughs> I'm so glad that I realized I hated my draft revision because I went back tightened it all up, changed some things, and added more like different other stuff in and like super, super love it now. I felt it was strong. I was hoping she was going to feel the same. And so um, she says that maybe, you know, this next time will just be line edits. She hasn't read the end. So like hopefully there's no developmental edits at the end. But yeah, guys, progress. Woohoo! So um, with all the query and uh, agents and COVID madness and publishers right now, um, I'll probably wait until after the new year to query that one, which gives me a lot of time for Project Emma um, to really hone it down so that I have two that I can query in case like, hey, this one doesn't grab you. What about this one? Or, um, hey, you love that one. I also have this one. Like, let's go and try to get a two book deal or something. I thought it was really cool. A few of my friends have like a YA and an MG that they're um, subbing right now or that they got deals for. And I was like, that'd be really cool if I had my middle grade game together so I could like do both at the same time. But it is what it is. Um, hopefully, again, I can work on that next year. Let me know what y'all's nano project is down below, how you feel about it. If you've gotten to do Preptober at all and figure out your characters and your story, let me know if y'all know off the top of your head or have a document how many projects that you have. Like, they don't have to be fully fleshed out, but like ideas of a project, like how many do you have? Are there multiple age ranges, multiple genres? I know some people like have a ton of ideas and some only have like what they're working on. So I'm curious what you're up to. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much. Um, subscribe if you haven't yet. Give this video a like and good luck during Nano guys. Don't forget to go over to my website in the members pages. There's a lot of helpful things for outlining writing craft books, um, the Save the Cat and Romancing the Beat outlines, Story Genius, uh, scene cards, how to write 50k in one month, um, tips and ideas to help you win nano, and different things like that. I hope you find them helpful and if you do please let me know if there's anything in there that you find that like needs tweaking please let me know that too and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!